Ladies and gentlemen, who grows up a love empire, we're doing something a little bit different. I want to do all this new territory battle stuff with y'all, but we're going to be doing it in a live format. I know we're going live right now. Might not seem like it, but we're going live. But we're going to kind of keep it sort of on the shorter end. Who knows? This could be like a 10 hour stream. <laughs> you know how things work around here, but we're in phase two of the rise of the empire. And we got a couple of interesting things that we're going to point out here. So why don't we go bring you guys in over. Come on over, all you folks coming for the live stream. All right, really quickly. Everyone, let the holo projector update. Feel free to say hi. Feel free to say hi. Come on. We're Larry, why is it pulling up? Why is it pulling up, Larry? Refresh, refresh. All right, we're going to give Larry five seconds to figure this out. One, two, three. But then say hi to your mom, your dads, your grandmas, your dogs, your cats, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your stuffed animals, whatever it might be, because it's great to be in the empire today. There we go. So this is proof that we are live right now. In case you guys thought this is pre-recorded here. It's obviously not getting pre-recorded because I'm not going to know what I'm doing going into these things here. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can try to keep this on the more YouTube video side of things so it's not like a full-blown 10-hour stream. Phase two, a couple things I want to point out in phase one. Our guild did manage to get max stars inside of phase one. So far, initial impressions are it's kind of like the Kenobi event, Lord Vader event, where as long as you got the relics if that's required, it's just a matter of finding the right teams that's going to be for it so phase one wasn't difficult it was just you got to get through the relic gate and one thing of note is we didn't even need dr afra dr afra is acquired inside of phase one and corellia yeah we don't need it we don't need it phase two interesting thing going on tons of sites needed which means we only did one platoon or one operation i should say because otherwise you're not going to max out any of these you got site there you got a site there site there site there you got a uh, no site there we got one but then another site there so you're, you're pretty much not going to max out any of these operations on genosis so none of that mm, we're not going to have site for at least another mm, couple weeks here same thing in the middle we didn't do any of the platoons our operations here you just can't yeah skip until the site so for those that are wondering where's the site well we, no one's got it yet and again you got to remember this tv is not designed to be beaten now it's meant to be beaten several years from now and it's kind of funny that you know half your guilds get to like deploy sites after they just unlocked it you kind of want to use it and also other thing note we did do the platoons operations boy it's gonna take a while for me to adjust to that we did do the operations over here maxed out that's the one that could be maxed out and uh it starts requiring galactic legends there's a galactic legends ray there another galactic legends ray there and you got some ben solos you have a master kenobi down there and again you need to have relic minimums to knock it out but let's get on into the main part of it phase two i like starting off in the middle first because then i can figure out what i need for the right and left and tomorrow's gonna be busy because we're aiming for that reva third sister and i already got my took my quizzers uh relic seven so we should be ready for that since this is a live stream let's make sure we keep up with y'all. John McMahon, nine months. Membership sure has its privileges. I'm excited for uh, Dr. Raffa. Let's just say that. Michael Robertson, for the line. Coming in with the death your mom in the house. Thank you, Michael, for stopping by. Thank you, everyone, for coming by for this mini live stream slash video type of thing because it's going to be busy. I got a couple of things to do. We have the Dr. Raffa kit reveal coming pretty shortly here. So everything's locked right now, but they gave me the go to go to work on it. So problem that i have here is that i gotta take count of the relic six it's gonna kind of interfere with my goal of having minimum relics for the doctor after event that's supposed to be coming tomorrow if all goes well but i i don't think most are gonna complain if i take hondo to relic six and instead of it being relic five for the event i again so far these legendary events as of recent days they're not really challenging it's just mostly getting the relic levels and it's kind of a gimme at that point you just it's they want you to be this tall to ride, and then once you get on the ride, you're going to be fine at that point. That's really what the challenge is nowadays. It's no longer about minimum maximums on the platoons or on the uh, missions itself. It's just you got to be this tall to ride, and once you're on the ride, you're good to go. So here we go, Relic 6 Hondo. Let's see what this is all about. Have my audio final soon. Wish me luck. Best of luck, Heat Lash. Hopefully all goes well with that. Man, finals this time here. That's one thing that's nice. I don't have to deal with that stuff anymore. All right, good news is they don't force Hondo into the lead. They have this thing, like with the Kiati Mundi mission, where they put Kiati Mundi to lead, and he doesn't have a lead. So I'm assuming we might want to do something scoundrel-related. You know, we probably should check and make sure we're not going to interfere with any other missions before we get going. So let's see, we have 
job of the hut that's kind of cut and dry random stuff we got hondo young lando so um, i'm gonna see if we can do a dash rendar thing on that lando uh let's see what else do we have over here so and Braca, i don't think we've had stuff from Braca before in the game so it's gonna be kind of interesting to check it out we need jedi light side so it's two just uh light side teams one jedi okay and then over on the dark side path we need dark side dark side the dark side geonosians okay man geonosians that's the thing that um i didn't really think was going to be needed for this event but they're kind of making it at you know the way to look at it is that it's going to require you to build up geonosians which are fantastic pilots for the separatists all right what are we running for honda what do you guys want to try relic seven geos well here you need relic six everything here needs to be relic six relic seven comes in wave three uh hondo's plug and play doesn't need to be uh doesn't i mean yeah but it, it's more beneficial if you do scoundrels i i'm i'm waiting towards best guard man that's just my initial hunch i just kind of want to try that out oh it says relic seven there oh wow well i'll double check in a second i'll double check in a second relic seven geos this phase what's well, weird because everything else is relic six here oh well i'll go back and check after we're done here hondo's missing all the mods he's got mods on him He's got mods. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to remod for this stuff. <laughs> Next time we'll come around. All right, fine. I'm wrong, man. You guys are always so mean to me. Okay, it's Relic Seven. All right. Okay, I, I, I agree, man. Okay, you don't break my heart already. We're only, we didn't even get to the first mission yet. Okay, you're right. I just made a grand assumption because everything else is Relic Six this phase. Okay. All right, just let's just get in here, man. Bully McGuire, enter the chat here. <laughs> all right i'm just gonna stick to uh let's yeah I, i'm just gonna go for this again at the right now with the first round of things we don't really know what the right teams are gonna be second go around it's gonna be a bit easier i feel like you know i kind of want to i kind of want to try bounty hunters i don't you know i'm gonna try bounty hunters here since we can mix them up i'm gonna just do a boss lead yeah I'm, I, I like this a little bit more i don't know why just having more insta kill opportunities makes it feel a little bit better uh where's mando where's his bestest friend in the whole wide world you got that and let's see we need one more one more dude in here what's let me look at my bound hairs i don't know why seeing too many scoundrels is making me go cross-eyed that's uh fact that needs a little bit more sub tags here uh django boba fett you know i'm gonna throw a boba fett in there let's go for it yeah i don't know i don't want to do best car man I, just from previous territory battle experiences he just he's miserable to play <laughs> what I'd rather just have someone that's got insta kills, lots of cleanses, assisting power, and all that other fun stuff. So that's just me, my friend. So let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get yelled at if I don't play it. Let's go ahead and play the song. Where's the Hondo song? Where's the Hondo song? It's, it's right here. Let's go, baby. All right. Am I making a mistake? I don't know. Probably. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, boss bleed better for durability. Yeah, you gotta think it's a marathon event. Okay. All right, already getting smashed. Love it, Honda doing amazing work. Okay, let's get the taunt up finally. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, who's the weakest? It looks like it's this recon trooper over here. Let's send it. All right, working towards contract. Let's go get uh, let's get Boba for the assist. Hondo's doing amazing. Hey, Hondo can at least call some assisting power in here. Uh, there we go, contract trigger. That makes you feel really good. But I want to get this retribution off these guys. There we go. All right, Hondo. So you got to be careful of Hondo. It's been a while since so we really goofed around with him. You don't want to accidentally kill the captive enemy too early until Hondo gets... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. He needs at least five stacks of ransom. So I think what I'm going to do for right now... I, I don't know what this Imperial officer does. Uh, Nissel and Farm. At the start of each character's turn, they gain heal over time. While a character has heal over time, they have 25% defense and are immune to buff immunity. Whenever a heal over time expires... Uh, they gain offense up and for one turn, and the recovery effects are increased by 20%. Wowza. All right, let's go ahead and just put him on that for right now. And let's start working on some. Let's get this range trooper out of here. I don't know if I... Yeah, all right, let's do the taunt. Let's go taunt. All right, here we go. Send it over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some big daddy hits here. Hopefully, Mando's got an insta-kill. All right, you know what? Let's do it. Who do you want to go for? Who are we going for? I kind of want to go for the medic right now yeah let's go for medic yeah medic right there send it home three two one give me a yay yay you, know, you gotta shoot it dude you gotta yeah you, you can't just say yay there we go all right so far so good let's keep moving 
Uh, let's get some ability blocks now. Uh, boy, wow. Completely denied there. Uh, keep going over here. I, I do like all the heal over times of boss. I think it, it works pretty well. I'm going to go pass it on over here. Get Boba for the assist. Don't want to kill him. I don't have enough ransom on me yet. Uno reverse card coming. Come on. Let's go over here. All right. One hit. Let's get the taunt back up. Mm, just do a double tap. Come on. One tap. Nah, where's my double tap action? Basic. Boy, we're not landing like any debuffs here. Here we go. Nice couple counters. I'll take it. Drop a basic there. Basic there. Send it over there. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can get some get some buffs. Get that retribution off him. There we go. You know, let's just move over there. It feels like I'm going to need Manda to do like all the heavy lifting here. Yeah, we're not landing any debuffs, unfortunately. There we go. Almost to another disintegrate. Come on, honey. Come on, baby. Come on. Hondo, you can't say that. I just started. Oh, gosh, Hondo. He always leaves a second. It looks like it's not profitable. What a jerk. All right. Insta kill. Let's go over here. Give me a yeet. All right. Nicely done. Let's get the next taunt up. Yeah, I'm kind of happy I brought in Boskley. I feel like things would be a little bit more complicated. Otherwise, all right. You stay with me. Stay with me. Unfortunately, we got to go for that counterattack here. Let's go. Try to give me a double tap. There we go. Trying to, we just, we're trying to heal up the team as much as possible. All right. Stick with me, boss. Ooh, ooh. Uno reverse car. There it is. All right. Stick with it. Let's get that taunt up. There we go. Uh, I think we're going to go for officer next here. So let's spend some time with the recon. Man, I wonder how best Amanda would have done here. Oh, let's go send it. Almost to another. Ooh. All right. So the good news is Hondo is at 16 stacks of ransom now, which is nice. I'm going to go. You know, just let, make this guy. Oh, no, we're not, we're not doing anything yet. That's not the captive. Let's go throw that down. Nice. Look at it. Hondo finally doing some heavy lifting for us here. It's about time. Drop some more ability blocks. Still denied, man. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Basics. Hey, even when we're being resisted, Boss is healing up the team, so we should be okay. There we go. Let's get the officer out. Give me another. Yay! All right. Next battle. On to the recon, Stormtrooper. Uh, let's go. Maybe just throw that there. All right, Hondo is at almost maximum stacks of ransom. Give it over here. There we go. One tap, two tap. Boy. Uh, and I'm not going to waste a taunt. Let's start saving our cooldowns for next round. All right, there you go. So, yeah, now that we're at, uh, what is it? 19 stacks of ransom. I don't, I can't remember. I don't think I've used Hondo inside of GOTB. But I'm, I don't think it's going to carry over. I hope it does. Make my life a lot easier. I think we're just going to keep waiting and just let Mando do his thing here. Nah, let's just save all of our cooldowns. All the cooldowns. One more turn to disintegrate. I would like to save it. You know what? Let's see if we can try to save it disintegrate for next round. Let's start using specials. Uh, I'm going to see if we can try to get through this without having to waste it too early. All right, come on. Hondo, 30 stacks. It goes up to 50, right? I think he was up to 50 stacks of ransom. Uh, you know what? Just we're fine. Keep it going. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, it's good. I just, I'm get the auto basic. Yeah, I like that idea. It's gonna take a minute, but we'll get there. Can you use Malgus Talon Dark to Reb and Basti Malg on Dark? Whoa, yeah. You know, I'll try try that out. Phase one, I didn't give it a shot. My concern is that I'm not sure if they're gonna have enough durability, but we'll give it a shot. My guild didn't seem to get mad at me for trying uh, teams out. Uh, you're right. I think we're gonna have to go for an insta kill, unfortunately. Nah. I, Let's start throwing. Let's see if we can just throw specials on this guy. Boy, not getting anything on him. Here, drop that on. No, we're going to hold. Just hold for a moment. Yeah, I think we can't do auto basic. It's not doing much. Yeah, this is a little bit easier. Over there. All right. Double tap, one tap. Uh, save the Uno. Mm, get me Boba for the assist here. Okay. And I think, yeah, that's a little bit better. There we go. Almost down. And three, two, one all right magus fell apart for you last time yeah I, I i i'm gonna admit i'm not entirely looking forward to trying magus out um but we'll give it a stab we'll give it a stab we're not going for bragging rights on perfect tvs we're going for what teams work uh okay anything i need to know here all right we know that that's the normal leadership ability any other modifiers i should know about all looks the same to me uh okay i'm you know my hunch is just to get tarkin out of here but we have to get Mando back up and running. So let's try to get some crits going. All right, let's see if we can maybe get some ability blocks. Wow, I guess that's a no. <laughs> uh, let's do that. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna get 
Tark? I I'm just going to go for Tarkin. Yay! I don't know if he's got anything funny. And he's not going to do anything funny now. All right. Taunt up. Okay. A couple of counters is always nice. Uh, we're going to try to put that guy into captivity if possible. Let's just do that for right now. Not a lot of buffs to feed off of for Boba. Nice couple counters right there. All right. Almost to another disintegrate. Send it on over here. Yeah, whatever it is, we are not landing anything. Man, it's almost like I feel like we need a tenacity down scoundrel. Maybe like IG-11 or something to make this a bit more manageable. But, I mean, it's so far, it's kind of a confirming what I said earlier. As long as you got the relics that it requires. So, relic six for this. And you don't bring in like a really dumb team. It seems like it's kind of straightforward. Let's get these uh, retributions off them. All right, Boba, you got uh, Oh, hmm. All right, go for it. Give me another. Yay! All right, they're gone. Double tap over here. No double tap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's taunt up. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, we got to rebuild Hondo all over again. That really sucks. It sucks that it doesn't persist. All right, here we go. Let's go try to heal up the team a bit here. One tap, two tap. Send it on over here. There we go. Yeah, I am very pleased with my choice of boss. I'm, I mean, yeah, best has has got protect recovery ways too, but uh, this is a lot better. Just trying to take out those retributions where I can. All right. Ooh, no reverse card coming in. All right, taunt up. It is nice using bounty hunters in a territory battle. <laughs> in GOTB, you couldn't really use them except in dark side side, but it's nice using Mando and the crew all together. All right. Ooh, I actually meant to put that on someone else. Well, let's not kill him off. We don't have enough ransom, so we got to take a break on him. Uh, yeah, get the recon out. Give me a yeet! All right, and it's just a matter of just, just a matter of time at this point until it finally clocks in for the win. Uh, basic, four stacks. Need to get five stacks if I recall correctly. Don't kill off the officer yet. One tap, two tap, taunt up. Uh, any other buffs? Hit those buffs off that dude. Send that back on the commander and almost there send it again all right we got 15 stacks of ransom so we could definitely start playing with this dude again one tap mm. there we go we're finally landing some daisies which is nice more consistent daisies always nice to have that uh, come on any day now you can give it to boba actually I probably should have given it to mando just to keep pumping terminator to the team Uno reverse card back over here one tap you know what get rid of the stormtrooper give me the yay all right Keep it rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I don't feel like Kondo's... <laughs> yeah, he's, you know, he's calling an assist. He's not useless, right? He's not useless. He's doing something. He's doing assisting power, all that other fun stuff. Get Boba for the assist over one. All right. You know, that, you know, it probably helps having someone on captivity once in a while. And there we go. So again, yeah. Be this tall to right. Hit the relics. Bring in the right team. That's logical, which we're figuring that part out. I feel like we kind of lucked out that Boss Lee was actually a really good choice for this mission here. There we go. Yeah, definitely was a Mando carry. He did a lot of the lifting, let's be honest. I hope they're paying him well in the Bounty Hunters Guild for that one right here. Uh, we have Baxter Alexander for 10 months here. Good chance our accounts could meet on free-to-play. Yeah, I, I, it's funny. A lot of you folks are in the Erodium tier. So uh, looking forward to seeing if we can get any of you guys on the free-to-play and go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So let's move on to the job. If there's one thing I've learned this year, I love the character a lot. Oddly enough, I wasn't expecting him to be that good. Probably the most important character in the game right now is Jabba. Um, like, just not even looking at a mechanic standpoint, like who's just the better character. He's the most important character in the game right now. He's just needed everywhere, and he's got a long future inside of this territory battles here. Oh, uh, all right. So we're going to do our usual HUD cartel. This worked out fairly well last time. Will it work again? I don't know. I guess we'll find it. Let's send it on in, honey. See, we get some big money, 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 money on this here. All right, same planet. Yeah, the thing about it is, uh, you know, it feels like almost ever, after you do like one battle, it's like, eh, every, all the other ones kind of feel sort of the same. Here we go. Let's hit all those thermal detonators. That should make a lot of nice progress on that contract. It did indeed. Let's, uh, you know what? Yeah, do that disarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Give me a couple more hits there. Get the, nope, yeah, there we go. We already took care of that with the buff immunity. I love it, I love it. Let's do just a basic here. Try to pick apart all this uh, retribution. Give it over to Big J. All right, Mr. J got it. What? Oh, I probably should have targeted someone misplay. Should have gotten that last retribution off there. Oh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's see. There we go, Embo coming in for the kill. Nicely done. Getting that retribution off, almost the contract. 
Almost there. And there it is. Okay. Got that damage immunity on Chrysanthem. And that guy is almost good as dead. But here comes the big hits. Remember? Boom. 90,000 before even taking the bonus damage. And yikes. Yeah, Chrysanthem's great. There's, I don't think they have any buff, buff the spells over there. I probably should just let this guy die in peace. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're kind of set in stone there. Yeah, we'll let him be. Let's show some buff immunity over there. I wonder if we could just maybe save our ult for next round, but eh. Well, we might use it just to speed things up. I have a feeling we'll probably have enough time to build up another ult. Here we go. Send it. Actually, I changed my mind. That, that's altered everything. We're going to save our ult for next round there. Thermal detonators doing work. Over here, get that off. Big hit from Embo. 69,000. Embo, boy, he's a man of culture. You gotta love him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just do basic here. That should be more than enough. Saving the ultimate. Don't even need these are specials, really, I feel like. Embo's got the damage. Leia's got the thermals. And then we're gonna open up the next wave with a nice insta kill, my friends. No, 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 just do basic. And I was hoping for Embo buff the spell there. Yeah, all right, they're gonna have to counterattack. That's fine. Uh, all right, can you finish him off? Uh, come on, finish him. There it is. Whoa, nice job. Nice job. Do another buff the spell. Okay. All right, into wave two in a few short moments. Just do another basic. Big hit. Mm, come on, Embo. I, I, you can do better. I don't care if it's a tank. Be better. Be better. So just do basic, point the finger. Another basic. Another basic. Okay. All right. Basic again. And send it. All right. Insta kills on deck. Just got to get a turn, but all right. A little different. No Tarkin this time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Big kid over here. 78,000. Let's do it. Yeah, get some thermals on him. Nicely done. Give it over to Mr. J. All right. Mr. J's got it. Whoa. Nice. It's coming from Leia. Wowza. Um, go, go for the officer. Dinner time. Oh, man. Ain't she a party one? Ain't she a pretty one? Ah, okay. Let's see if we can. You know, I wish they, they don't show the abilities on these guys. Uh, it's like, see, some of them have it. Some of them don't. I'm not sure if that's a bug intended. Or maybe they just placeholders. They don't do anything. <laughs> sort of seems like that. Yeah. All right. Put it on full auto at this point. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a catch-22 thing. You know, with GeoTV, it was a rough experience for a lot of folks. It was rough for me. Um, but the thing was, there wasn't really like a crazy, like minimums to get in. Now we have crazy minimums to get in. So it's like, you know, it's, it's the only challenge I think is just getting those relics. That's really what it is. Otherwise, when you got the right teams, it's good to go. So I don't know. It's could have went for the other one job. Eh, whatever. He likes to take his time. Rancor ult's really cool. Yeah, the Rancor ult's probably one of the best things to happen in Galaxy of Heroes in a while. One of my favorite things, personally. Okay. There we go. Another win under the belt. So Jabba, yes, I, I have a feeling just, you know, so far we're two phases. And phase six could be a completely different beast. I don't think we're... I, I wonder if we're ever going to get there. I don't know. We'll see. But phase six, I think it's going to be a much different beast once Relic 9 is required. Uh, all right. We need, I think, two more battles. Young Lando. Uh, we got to take you... And here, this is what it is. It's not so much the gameplay's tricky, it's the relics that are tricky. So I gotta take Young Land, which, all right, at least he's got a ship, so I'm not gonna be too mad. Relic 5 Kit is gonna be annoying for a lot of people in phase one on that Jedi mission. So let's go to our Scoundrel tab. Yeah, let's see, Young Lando, Young Lando, Young Lando, Young Lando, where you at, buddy? Young Lando. And even like, you know, I know you guys told me to remod Hondo. I just, I'm kind of seeing like, do I need God tier mods? It doesn't seem like, <laughs> I'm dying. Ah! Wake up! It doesn't seem like I need to do a lot of remodding. Yet. So Relic 6. What's that Zeta do? I don't have the Zeta. I'm perfect timing. Oh, man. Um, 50% Ah, I'm not going to throw that out. Not going to throw that out. Snap later, probably this stream. No, I got some other stuff to do. Normally today's not a normal stream day, but I'm like, all right, for the first week, I want to do all the stuff with you guys. So today's gonna be kind of like a mini video stream type of hybrid. So snap, not today. Tomorrow we got a busy day though. Busy, busy day. So for this battle, I'm thinking, 
I kind of want to do a Dash Rendar thing. Yeah, Dash Rendar. I'm, I'm going to kind of, based off yesterday, I saw some footage of Dash with Cat. It seems nice. We tried, we did Padme of Cat yesterday, and you didn't really need Cat for Padme. Uh, what else do we want to throw in? Let's maybe throw in, hmm, a tank. And then, do I want to put in Vander Chewy? Do you think it's worth putting Vander Chewy in? <laughs> Hondo, we already used Hondo. Hondo we used for the special mission. Uh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be Dr. Raffer Day. Dr. Raffer should come out tomorrow. Kit reveal later on today. That's what they said, at least. That's what they said. You think Vander Chewy, IG, and Quill bring in Han? Uh, I want to try to maybe keep the CLS team together. Oh, you know what? Cara Dune. You know what? I, I want to use Cara Dune. From what I could tell, Cara Dune would be great. Uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking, yeah. Cara Dune here. Yeah, it's not Thursday. It's tomorrow. Yep. It's going to be tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, she's not a marquee character. She's a ledger. So the second the update hits, it's going to be there. Yes, this L3 wasn't helpful. I, I think the problem is we just didn't have enough damage. I think that was the main concern uh, that we had. But I feel like I want to put in, like, one more. Young Han Solo. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. We're, oh, I mean, if I get... He's a... Please don't tell me he's Relic 5. I don't want to Relic 6 him right now. Where is he? Where the heck is... Am I blind? I'm definitely blind. Okay, seven seven. I am. Um... Oh, he's not gonna show up because he's not relic six. Yeah, I don't want to relic six him right now. I'm just gonna throw Vander Chewy in. Vander Chewy. Hopefully these three have the damage. We have an insta kill. So far we've done three battles with insta kills. That's a uh, Fennec. I want to have the durability. Let's run it with this. Let's do this. I do like Quill and IG as well, though. I, I was thinking about that, but yeah, I, I want to see, though, if Kara is going to be magical. So you got to get through that initial hunch. Uh, let's see. I want to maybe... Let's give it the dash first. Let's give it the dash. Okay. All right. There we go. Let's smash the days. so we don't get the counterattacks. All right. And basic over here. Let's see. This is... Okay, yeah. I think Kara Dune's going to be really, really good for this one here. All right. What does this do? Stealth. Um, ba, 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 ba. I don't know. Give it the dash. Oh, actually, I should be, I should be giving it over to Vandar Chewy. I, that's what I should be doing. Let's go do a buff the spell. Probably should have done a basic there, but that's fine. All right. Pop that hit. 86,000. That's with Garbanzo Bean Mods. I have nothing special on Lando. Ooh. That's not good. But we have the revive. We're good. We should be fine. Basic. There we go. Some nice hits coming in here. All right. I hope Cara Dune's going to get me a couple more stuns. You know, maybe I'm overestimating her because she's... Oh, there she is. I was going to say, she's amazing inside of the um, Sana team. All right, here we go. Give me another good stun. Ooh, not, a, not amazing that time. Let's go keep you under stealth. Okay. Keep that prepared on us. So we do not have the Omicron active here, so the prepared will not reappear. So let's just give it back over to Dash. Do we have another days going? Another days? Come on, Dash. What do you got for me, buddy? Ooh, insta kill. Let's go for it. Yay! There it is. Okay. All right. Uh, definitely the trickiest of the battles we've done today, it feels like. Just do basic, I think. Yeah, just do basic. Okay. Mm Keep Vander Chewy with that prepared on him. No, no, no. Don't go. Kara, the, the problem with Kara is she's not going to quite taunt on the scene since it's not a rebel team. We don't have a rebel lead in place. So she's not really taunting. Uh, there we go. Hit him with the days. There we go. Some nice damage. Hit him with another stun. There we go. Got to have that potency up do its thing. Uh, we have time. I am going to... We have time to build up another ultimate. Or not ultimate. Oh, another insta-kill. Drop Vander under stealth. Do the basic. There we go. 100k on the basic. We'll take it. We'll take it. So let's get our insta-kill ready for next wave here. Keep Vander Chewy's looking good. Pop it there. Let's give it back over the dash. All right. Yeah, great assist power right there. Do another basic. There we go. All right. Cara Dune. I forget. It's got such a low cooldown. There we go. All right. Now we get the cruise. Save that insta kill for next wave. Basic. Okay. Come on, baby. What do you got for me? Oh, boy. I really want to use it, but we got to hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it for a little bit. All right. She should have the stun next turn. Vander under stealth so we can keep the revives coming. Uh, you know, we probably should, you know what, we probably should take care of this dude, shouldn't we? All right, let's pop this. Okay. No, let's hold it. I'm stun him. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay, seven man. Lando's popping hits. I was not expecting to hit this hard. Could be because of all this offense up and the other modifiers going on. All right, just do basic. Almost there. All right, carry dune should be off cooldown for next wave. Save it. And save that. Save all that. Ah, jerk. Okay, all right. Let's keep it going, baby. Keep it going. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this one could be tough. This one could be tough. Iden Versio. Hmm. All right, well, I'm guessing she's going to... Does she have a unique ability? Yeah, we were not going to kill her off right away. This is this this actually could be a loss. Well, I can't just kill her off right away, but luckily Caradoon's preloaded, <laughs> and I can do that. <laughs> okay, let's work with what we got. Okay, uh, I think this is boy. Am I happy you brought Kara? This looks like this could have been way different because you saw us. She was ready to take her turn. She was ready to go. All right, we definitely got to keep Vandor under stealth here. Uh, just do basics right now. Yeah, basically, he's our best course of action. All right, almost ready for another hit. Keep her. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Kara doing big money on this one, y'all. Big, 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 big money. All right, need some dazes. That's going to help us out a bit. All right, let's go give it back over to Dash. All right. Okay. Basic over here. I, I So, so far, the past two waves, or in past two phases, this is the battle I feel like most concerned about. But I think we're, everything's going fairly well so far. Oh, there's that revive. Thank you, Vandor. We needed that. Put her on stun. Ooh, a bit worried about that. Kara, tell me you got me. Oh, it got me. Come on, come on. There we go. Whew. That was scary. Okay, Vander, back under self. We got to get prepared back. Mm, he's got it. Okay. All right, I'm a bit worried here. Now we're losing turn meter. Now we're losing turn because they're taunting. Now I'm a bit concerned. All right, Vander doing work. Okay, hold it. Whoa. Definitely the toughest wave out of the past two phases. She just one shot nuked our entire team. Wow. Wow. Um, it was going well until this taunt got in our way. Because then we started losing turn meter. If maybe we could have pulled it through, but yeah, that was rough. That was rough. Okay, well, we'll take our one. Um, What could I have done differently? Well, maybe different team. I mean, Kira was, you know. You know, now that I wonder, I wonder if Sana would have been great here. Because Sana wasn't great in phase one because of all the dazes through the modifiers. I wonder if... Let's see, where was that battle we just did? Uh, This one? And I, You know what? Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, we probably should have thrown Sana. This would have been a great battle for Sana, I think. Yeah, so keep in mind, just because a team doesn't work well on one planet, it doesn't mean it's not going to work well on another planet. It's not like the other TBs where there's kind of go-to teams. The go-to teams are going to change. So if I could redo that battle, probably just maybe throw Sana, Kara. I'm thinking Sana, Kara, Stormtrooper Han, and maybe Rebel Officer Layer Gun and just hope we don't need the revives. Yeah, I don't know, because you're stuck with Lando on that one. Yeah, wow. She just nuked the whole team. I don't think there's anything special on her that made her do so. Overtuned on that one. Okay, again, you got to bring in the right team. It's That's really what it is. Maybe CLS would have been fine too. Hard to say. Okay, we have one more mixed battle. I've been enjoying using, like, Ray in the middle. At least that was the last wave. Let me see what else we want to do. We're going to save Lord Vader. Saving Master Kenobi. Um, I kind of want to maybe throw a trail for Yeah, that item was crazy. Imagine if that was our item. Chad Malgus. I, I thought, well, we need how, how many dark side battles do we need? Let's see. For dark side, we need. We need one, two, three. We need four teams on the dark side. Star Killer, you know what? I want to use Star Killer. Yeah, Palpatine, Mara, Jade has so far been the best team for these territory battles because you can use them on middle and the dark side let's do it. i'm gonna use star killer let's do it 
Disobey. That's how we roll around these parts of town. So let's try out a star killer. We didn't do star killer yesterday. All right, let's do Palpatine, Mara J. Let's go to Unalign. Forest users are us down here. And throw in a star killer. We need a light cider. And then we need a Jedi. So maybe throw in old Ben or Mace Windu. Uh, I'll use old Ben. Although I'm not, you know what? I don't need, uh, problem is I don't think we're going to land my debuffs. Oh, we have tenacity down. We'll have tenacity down. All right, I'm going to try this out. Use Barris lead, baby. You know, Zarius actually might not, actually might not be a bad idea. Yeah, for the durability. Because now we have to, we don't have, yeah, you know what? Mm, we'll see how it goes. So no Imperials on this round here, whatever mission this was. Let's see if we can drop a tenacity down first. All right, that's gonna be critical. And now we can start playing. Pull back that turn meter. Unfortunately, this is not the star killer of Grand Arena. Uh, you're not gonna get him to assist, unfortunately. Uh, you're not gonna get pretty much anything, but I'll just do that for right now. Let's see if we can get some stuns. All right, let's see who's got tenacity down. Let's drop it over there. All right, drop that there. Do a mind trick. There we go, you know. Yeah, I think Barris though would have been nicer, but it's fine. It's fine, we'll work with it. Drop a shock over there. Get me a stun. Give me a stun on this dude. There we go. Drop that out there. This guy seems to be missing out on the tenacity down memo. Okay, basic over there. Basic over there. Basic here. You know, can I just, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He did get tenacity. That guy's really annoying me. He's really annoying. Okay. Just, just keep showing the amazing basic gameplay. There we go. Do that almost to our mini ultimate. There we go. Do some of this. I don't know if that really makes much of a difference, but who knows? All right. Come on. Get the tenacity down. Take it. There it is. All right. Now they got it. Okay, all in on Bruiser. Okay, pop it there. They go. A little bit over there. A little bit over here. Just keep that love spreading. You know, I'm getting a little impatient. Let's just connect the dots. Put the shocks back on. They all have tenacity down, so let's save it. We're going to try to start saving cooldowns for next wave. Let's do a couple more basics. You know what? I'll throw this out there. There we go. Give us some food to play with. There we go. Yep. Throw that there. Throw that there. That there. Oh, yeah. Keep it coming. Connect the dots. Beautiful. Do another round of that. Over there. Oh, are you not entertained, ladies and gents? There we go. Yes. This bruiser, man. This dude's cruising for a bruiser. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. And we should be ready, but we're not going <laughs> to. Yeah, let's use it right now. Why is old Ben in there? Uh, he's, he's a common fifth. You need to have a Jedi, right? So the common fits are, well, depending on the game mode, but Old Ben, Mace Windu, uh, General Kenobi, Visa, not Visa's Mar, uh, Juhani, if you're inside of um, uh, Territory Wars. All right, so we have a Hondo. Mm, again, it sucks that they're not showing you the abilities. It's kind of, that's a downgrade from the previous territories, at least before I could kind of time out something, but now you don't know what it's looking like. Uh, all right, so I have some tenacity down. Got the stun, Let's throw that out there. All right, send that over there. Connect the dots. Yeah, it's golden. There we go. We should be golden. We should be golden. Do a basic there. Drop some more. Oh, I probably should have done that right there. Uh, minor misplay. I'll get around to it. Star Killer eventually get their turn here. We'll get see some fancy polygons. Drop it there. A little bit over there. Yeah, spreading that Palpatine sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, misplay. Throw a shock there. There we go. Pull it out of the sky! Yeah, a Palpatine, Marjade, so far, mm, definitely a must-have team. Whether it's Star Killer, non-Star Killer. We did non-Star Killer last wave, or last phase. Worked out very well. It, it just, it really just seems like you kind of got, you got to get through, like, the initial preload that the enemy team's going to have. And as long as you survive like the first few hits, you're you're gonna be fine. It seems like. And again, when they require minimum relics, it, we've been so far not dying on opening waves. So we'll see how that moral of the story goes moving forward here. 
Stop the shock there. I feel like I should just put this on auto, but I'm just going to keep rolling it the way I do. All right. There we go. Okay. You know what? Get Hondo out. Let's not leave him chilling here too long. And there it is. Take it home. All right. Pulls dust out of the sky. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think you need Star Killer for this. I, I, I honestly, I'll be, uh, I prefer maybe a non-Star Killer. Star Killer is, he doesn't do much unless there's like, maybe they'll release like a territory battle Omicron. That's going to be great for Star Killer, just like they added Juhani. And the Juhani and Star Killer is a great combo inside of uh, Territory Wars. Maybe even better than the Grand Arena variant. That's, that might be controversial. Uh, okay, ship time. So ships. Let's see what we got over on the left side. Left side, what's the ship? Are we able to do ships? Okay, so we're going to need three fleets today. So likely we'll use Profundity on this side. Um, hmm. The question is, do we want to use Bounty Hunters? Anything of importance I need to know? Same thing, same thing. All right. All the same thing. I guess Star Killer gives more survivability, but when you have when you're running a turn meter train, you don't really need the survivability uh, that much there. Rock is Jedi. See him is bug currently. Really, there's bugs on the last phase too. Apparently. Oh boy, uh, I'm thinking. I'm just gonna you know I'm I'm just gonna run bounty hunters here. Let's roll bounty hunters, and then we'll figure maybe malevolencers something on the other wave okay let's do bring out you and i think that the, you know what yeah i think this exec is probably the best in the middle because it's got some oh shoot i forgot i platooned i platooned my razor crest all right we'll see if we can let's well, i wonder Ugh. actually no let's put yeah all right so we don't have razor crest Let's see if we can still carry this. I'll throw in. I'm going to plan for Separatist on Dark Side. Let's maybe bring in the bomber. Mm, you know what? I'm going to do something else. Let's let's save the bomber in case I change my mind. Because I always change my mind when it comes to this stuff. And, you know, just give me a Sith bomber. If anything, yeah, Sith bomber. Just in case we need a backup tank. Sith fighter? Why would I want to use Sith fighter? Is there something special about this tier that requires it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thinking about the reduce was it? Does the the health reduction right? No, that doesn't do that. It's is it this ability here? Nope, that's not it. Yeah, it's got the health down. Yeah, Sith fighter for the main. okay for <laughs> just send it on it. Fine, you want your here? Where, where is it at? Where where'd she go? There you go. You want it? There you go. I'll throw it in there. He did Chimera, Vader, TIE Bomber, Reinforced. Okay, so he just did a normal Chimera lineup. Yeah, I think Chimera is going to be pretty solid here. So that's what Dr. Payton from my guild ran as well. Um, Okay, a little dirty opening play. Let's try. I probably should have thrown that. Boy, that sucks. Is this going to be one of those high tenacity things here? Let's see. Hopefully, we don't need Razor Crest to do this. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Let's You know what? I'm thinking I kind of want to do this first. Yeah. So let's see. Let's do that. Get that taunt up. Get you for the assist. All right, there we go. Hey, we got a debuff. I guess that's nice. Let's see if we get that ability block on. There we go. Got an ability block there. I'm just gonna keep going for Vader. Mm-hmm. All right, come on. What do you got for me? Yeesh. Interceptor. All right, luckily we didn't get any buff muni on us. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, all right, let's get all of our bounty hunters onto the field. All right, let's just... Boy, they got some... We're, we're like getting no breach on right now. That's not good. If I'm not getting breach, this lineup's not going to do much. This could be definitely a Chimera battle. This seems a little bit better. Okay. Over here. Boy, yeah, we're not getting a... I don't think I got a single breach yet. Well, that's going to be hard for us to get the ultimate. Yeah, we, we're, it's going to take us a minute. All right, well, let's send it. Hopefully, we get something. There we go. We got one. We got him. There we go. That should speed things up a bit. There's one down. All right, get him out. Bomber's out of the picture. We got to watch out for Chimera, though. Okay, odd reinforcement. 
All right, let's get this Vader out, please. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a turn. Give me in there. Come on. All right, let's bring out. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Do I want to bring in Gar Suxon right now? Mm, not with the healing immunity on him. I, I want to bring the tank, but I'm worried that we're, we have to do the AOE. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give him any turn meter right now. All right, let's bring in a tank. But there, let's see. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, that actually works out great. There it is. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to do AOE here. I don't want to give him turn meter. I'll just do this for right now. Let's do double tap. Yeah, just do double tap. There we go. There we go. Finally, now the... Oh, they got two for one there. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Yeah, uh, this was... Yeah, without Razor Crest, this... I mean, just without getting a lot of breaches, this felt rough. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if executor, especially if you're platooning Razor Crest. I'm not sure if this is going to be a good... Yeah, now... Might as well do it now. Yeah. I think Dr. Pated had the better lineup. Throwing Chimera. Get your insta kill call today. Man, this was, yeah, we're not, not making any progress. All right, you know what? Just die mercifully. There you go. Yeah, a lot of tenacity problems going on here too. So they're definitely not a usual routine for the executor. No Razor Crest, weird tenacity on that team. I definitely would have, um, Again, that's what we're gonna learn. Next time, probably not gonna do executor middle, especially when we platoon. Razor Crest, and it just, it's, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. All right, let's go dark side. I, I'm just kind of following the same pattern as the other day. So Geonosis as, let's you guys, hold on, where is it? All right, as you guys rightfully pointed out, this is the oddball, even though everything else is relic six, it's kind of weird. It's weird that they, Hopefully you guys understand that I, I wasn't wrong, but I was kind of wrong. I, everything else is Relic 6. It's weird that they require Relic 7 here. So the problem is my Poggle ain't very... Not quite up there on the Relics for right now. Well, the good news is we did a lot of scrapping before the gear update hit. So we should have a decent amount to get him up and running. I've been meaning to get this guy up. I just haven't touched my Poggle in a long time. Don't you dare take, don't you dare take that the wrong way. Don't you dare. I haven't messed the pilot in a while because he's just not a pilot. If he was a pilot, I'd go for it. But you know what? At least on the bright side, when you're using the Geonosians, whether it's for a Lord Vader cleanup like the other day, whatever the case might be, it's nice being able uh, to have that extra durability on the team. But this is, this, this is what the gameplay is supposed to be. This is what they want you to do. There you go. You feel like it's a mistake. I feel like it's a mistake, too. That's why I, I don't. I, I, I was wrong, but I feel like I wasn't really wrong. Like, everything else is Relic 6. But it's, so it's weird that they require Relic 7. Could be bugged. There's a few buggy things going on with this event. All right. Relic 7 Geos on the board. Where's the battle at? Let's go for it. Let's disobey the order. I'm never wrong. You touch Poggle's nose. <laughs> <gasps> Proper order. Sun fact, always before Geno's a soldier. And then, I don't know why, I just like putting Poggle there. Let's go for it. I need something to get my motivation up and running. We're going back to GOTB, y'all. Wow! All right, partisan fighters on Geonosis. Well, I'm glad I Relic 7 my Poggle. This... Partisan fighters, does that make any sense for Geonosis? I was expecting like clones or... Well, I just took five AOEs to the face. And keep in mind, I have a Relicate Spy, a Relicate Sunfac, a Relicate Geo Soldier. Uh, and there's a Rebel... Sp Uh, this is a very... I, I have so many questions. One, why did you make me relics of my Geos? Two, why am I getting hit with five AoEs before I start? Three, why are there Rebels and Partisan Fighters on Geonosis right now? Okay. During the Rebels TV show. Well, if we're going to go with that line of argument, then why is there the, 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 
I'll show you guys. There's some, there's a weird lore disconnect with this game mode here. Uh, as you see, there's that space station that's after this, but there, the space station didn't happen during Rise of the Empire. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's the Saw Gerrera moment, but yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll explain my logic in a moment here about how there, it, there feels to be a little bit of a disconnect. Well, let's see if we can try to pick this up without Soldier. Um, let's get that revive going. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Let's get some ability blocks where we can. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got it. We got to hit him with the yeet. Yay! All right. Let's go ahead and just do that. Get some ability blocks. Hey, at least the ability blocks are landing. That's good. Okay. All right. All right. At least we got through the opening bombardment problem. Now we just got to I want to. Yeah. So here we go. See, like here they show the abilities. Now they show them before. Yeah, it's like it's kind of hit or miss when they show them. Uh, ability block. There we go. Hey, good ability blocks. Oh, jeez. All right. We need some ability blocks. Like, see here? There's no ability tags. Buff the spells. There we go. Ability block. Come on. Um, go for the yeet. Oh, can we at least get one down? Jeez. Uh, can we get some stagger? There we go. That's going to help us out a bit. All right. Get rid of you. All right. Yee, yee, yee. We need to heal up here. All right. There's AoEs coming. Let's get ability block. Mm, denied. Denied. Ooh. Now they're falling one by one. Can I at least get one wave? This could be that one battle where... I mean, I have like six dot mods on most of these guys but you maybe we need to like put better mods here definitely it's not a relic problem it's it could be a mod problem yeah we're just getting blown away here all right well oh hey there we go okay come on let the spy do their magic let's not give up yet let the spy get in there see what they can pop off here all right come on spy give me some more of that magic magic sauce come on i know you got more of it I know you got more. Okay. Any day now. There we go. All right. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Send him on over. Get that spy to work. Come on. We're getting our relegate use out of him. Okay. Uh, boy, that's going to be rough. We need to get a up the spell. Give me a crit. There we go. We got it off. Thanks to Brood's basic. Come on. No, 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 no. I need the yeet. We need the Give me the yeet. Give me the yeet. Almost there. Come on, don't give up, and they gave up. Seriously, you gave up? All right, well, that one's a wild one. That's a wild one. Uh, only thing I can think of is mods. Otherwise, my relics are kind of above and beyond the Relic 7 there. Uh, but yeah, here's so lore-wise, it's kind of weird because the next zone, or two zones down, you have this medical station, which it has, you know, interesting effect, modifier, whatever it's called. Uh, it's got this brain worm thing, but that happened in the Clone Wars, right? That wasn't in anywhere in the rebels rise of the empire so it's just it's just some weird lore lore things so again when does galaxy is really adhere to lore one to one but i was expecting you know uh you know more clone stuff but okay it could be maybe emulating that he went to the station rebel but again again they're they, the, the they didn't have a brainworm outbreak during that time yeah so that's what i'm getting at so it just it's a little like this it just it's a little right, I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit in it much i don't want to start a lore debate but it's just a fact that the, the outbreak didn't happen during the rise of the empire so i thought maybe everything was out in the open but yes if we if we are going by what happened yeah i think what if we're doing saw Gerrera stuff or whatever which i hope we see saw Gerrera, by the way okay it makes sense but you can't convince me that this makes sense this didn't make sense Time isn't linear. There you go. Even though it's a linear path. But let's not get bogged into the details. Okay? Let's keep moving on. Uh, we get, is there any, any Lord Vader specifics here that's needed? Last phase, we had a Lord Vader. I guess not. We just got to bring in random dark side teams. All right. We didn't use Inquisitor's Dust. Right? We had a request for Malgus. I feel like I'd be remiss if I don't use my lord vader let's just bring in um i'm gonna bring in the royal guard bring in a shore trooper and i don't know give me give me one more tank let's go for it 
Let's send it, baby. Technically, if you think about it, every event of the Clone Wars is part of the Rise of the Empire. There you go. Oh, okay. This is the... Uh... See, you can't just tell me there's... No, okay. Ignore everything I said. What the hell is going on on this planet? One second I'm fighting Saw Gerrera, but now I'm back in the Geno Sarita in episode two. All right. I just, I prove, no, I'm gonna be you guys. I proved you guys wrong. You're wrong. Just like I was wrong about the Geonosians. Okay. I'm right. Something's weird as hell. This is literally a copy paste, but they put Geonosians over there. What is going on at this event? Okay, well, I don't know what's going on. It's literally a copy. They. I, this is what I was telling you guys. A lot of this event, Territory Rouse, is mostly copy-paste from other things in the game. <laughs> well, hey, I wonder. I guess we could ask the question. This is going to be our What If series right here. What if you could bring Lord Vader to the Kiadi Bundy special mission, huh? I guess we're about to find out. Is, is Lord Vader capable? Someday I, I will know. be. Okay, uh, yeah, this 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 I'll reeks a little bit of I'll laziness. Like, all right, I was like, okay, maybe we're doing a Rebel Saw Guerrero thing, and now that's completely out the window. There is no, there is no right answer here. All right, here we go. I Lord them Vader. All. I killed them all. I killed them all. Um. Every okay, one. let's do a buff the spell, I suppose. I killed, I killed, I killed them all. Can I? I wonder. Can Maul just like yeet out the the reek? I wonder. We'll find out in a moment here. Yeah, and it's the same thing. Stand your ground. It's a, it's it's a literally a copy and paste of the cam mission. God, <laughs> this reeks of laziness. <laughs> Good one. Um, what, do I need to get trampled off me? I have no protection on us. Does this really matter? I honestly don't think that we need to worry about it. We have no protection on this team. Um. Okay. Uh, probably should have brought another buff this spell if I knew this was gonna happen. You know, I'm not going to waste my jazz hands there. Probably, you know what? Now I probably should have. Now that I think about it. All right. Okay. Oh, this is funny. Um, just do basic. Uh, you know, I might just... Here, let's, let's increase cool. There we go. We see the cooldowns at least. All right, let's just actually do the buff the spell. There we go, buff the spell. All right. No one can convince me they put a lot of effort into this game mode, except the art and UI. That's like the one, the, the two things I really like about this. Otherwise, this, this is. I, I want to believe this is an accident. I don't want to believe this is. Come on, Maul. Let go. Oh, he didn't get it. Well, there you go, guys. Here's going to be your new updated Caddy Moody mission guy. Just bring in Lord Vader, and all your problems will be solved. Anakin, my allegiance is to the Republic, to democracy. If you're not with me. Okay. Let me guess. Are we going to play the accolade? Hold on. Are we? Do we have like an accolade? Does it even like tell us? Head like heads up. You're you're about to walk into a uh, reek. I guess not. Okay. Well. Can I have that for the cam mission? I know, right? They should. You know what they should do? Make this. Make this actually worth my last. Put. Make this a Caddy Mundi shard farm right there. Click on the red icon. Um, yeah, there you go. That's your heads up. Oh, so hold on. Do we have one here? Ah! ah they literally copied and pasted Geo TV. Uh, hold on. And that next to. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> it is. No, no. So I, uh, I get it's Geonosis, but there is no, like, I thought there's a thematic, like a, a theme around all this. You know, like we had, we fought the, we fought, we fought Sargur's forces. Okay. All right. Fine. But then all of a sudden, two seconds later in the same moment, I'm in back in the Clone Wars, Attack of the Clone. I don't know. It's yeah. All right. Well, let's let's just get in there. So, all right. What would I want? You know what? Okay. What? This is the. Hold on. Is that the? Uh, I don't care. We're gonna do Sith Empire. Could Darth Malgus take on an accolade? 
Let's find out. Uh, you. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. That's great. All right, let's go for it. Let's see how it goes. The Empire did wipe out Geno's to keep the Death Star safe. Again, I know that, Blaze. But why am I now? Well, why am I now fighting an Ackley? Again, there's no linearity with all this. It's just, it's just random. It's like, it's like, it feels like they're copying, pasting, and the stitching random stuff together. Uh, no one can convince me there is a theme here. There's no theme. It's just like we need to. Let's save work on a planet and just copy Geno TV, but like at least give me repetitive Saw Gorilla waves. All right, fine, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Okay, well, anyways. Well, so far, Darth Malgus sucks. I'll tell you guys that. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling this is not gonna do. Yeah, I think the Malgus is a big no no here. Here, yeah, I put some doubt in that Ackley, you know. Yeah, they don't know what's coming. Okay. All right, let's see. This is Relic 9 Malgus and all that other fun stuff here. Just by the way, here's going to do a whole lot of nothing. Can I get a sh Nah, it's too basic. Hopefully we can just get Malgus to carry here. There we go. Some tenacity down is always nice. Okay. Basic. There we go. Yeah, I have uh, I got a sneaking suspicion. Malgus is not cut off for this. This is your favorite episode of Andor. I know, right? I love this episode of uh rebels tv show yeah all right well yeah first time time using darth malgus yeah definitely not the math map for them maybe somewhere else yikes yeah boy that was a hot steaming tr pile of garbanzo beans right there all right <laughs> i kind of wonder what so cure would have looked like here just constantly ramping on the accolade all right <laughs> this planet cracks me up. Okay, man, this is the Nexu. Okay, so I mean, <sighs> all right, Nexu. Let's let's throw SLKR here. Let's go for it. I'm just curious to see what it would look like. First order, you, you just you know, oh my um, first order stormtrooper is not relic six, so we got to find someone else. And eh, just give it over to the officer. Let's do it. Oh, Wampa versus Nexu. Oh man, I should. Missed opportunity right there. All right, a little different. Instead of just going straight into a uh, droid battalion, you just go straight up against the uh, Genos instead. Okay. All right, let's go pop that. Hey, at least we can outrun them. There we go. Pass that over. Uh, actually, I should probably redo the mods. First order officer should probably go before Hux, but it is what it is. Let's drop that there. Okay. Stay with me, Kyle. We got a while to go here. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, drop that. Okay. Basic. And that's it. That's the money shot. Let's go get rid of the spy. All right. They're gone. And let's reduce our cooldowns. Oh, didn't get it. And save the ultimate. Let's do basic there. Let's see if we can try to get rid of Poggle before he does a cleanse. And come on. Eh, we can do AWE. It's going to reset anyways. On the ultimate. There we go. Oh, you can use Java plus Ray in the... Wait, what? No. Really? You can put Java and Ray together? Oh, man. Missed opportunity. I should have tried that out. All right. So they changed the camera angle. Uh, okay. Let's give it over here. Let's go dive bomb into this ultimate. Hit him where it hurts. Kaboom. All right. See here? If only we could use this inside of uh, GeoTV. There you go. That's your new Nexu guide. Yeah, this this planet's a little um, a little wacky. Like I at first like okay, I'll, I'll convince myself it's a Rebels episode, but then once you get all this is literally just copy paste. Uh, and then uh, let's pivot the angle a little bit. Maybe instead of droids, we'll put Geos in there. Uh, yeah, okay. That was interesting. Uh, oh, we have the combat mission we got to do over here. Uh, I'm going to use, after getting steamrolled in the other ship battle, I kind of want to just use my Chimera here. Forgot the Chimera. <laughs> I love, I, I just think, I think the funny part was we're, we're sitting there, we're kind of debating about this, the, the theming of the event. And I was like, all right, maybe you guys are right. Then after, after that happens, like, no, no one's right here. We don't know what's going on. Uh, bring out TIE Fighter. You, 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 you. In Forge, we don't have Gauntlet. Now, nah, bro, throw that in. Let's go for it. All right, you feel like this is the finalized battle? I guess we'll find out. 
Will you cover the Dr. FK on stream? If it shows up now, if it doesn't, we'll have a video on it later. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's going to probably be up in an hour or so. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Maybe this was... Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, let's see what I can do with this. Uh, definitely the ship battles feel the hardest today. Like, out of everything, the ship battles... That feels like a, a, a forward difficulty. But I think, again, maybe Chimera wasn't the right fleet here. Maybe it was Malevolent, so you could cheese it. Uh, or maybe... Yeah, I don't even know if... Um... Yeah. Not the right fleet. Definitely not the right fleet on this one. Definitely not the right fleet. So, yeah, probably... Yeah, it's got to be either Malevolence or Bounty Hunters. I don't even know if Five Lines would have done. I still would have been destroyed. I'm thinking... Yeah, I think that we would just have to bring in Malevolence next go around on that one. Okay, Geonosis. I give a fat... A fat, smelly turd. Let's go over to Braca. And what do we have? Not, not a lot to do on Braca today. We... Let's... let's All right, let's... Let's see if we can at least get one fleet battle knocked out. Let's bring in a Profanity. We can bring in the full crew. No complications. Uh, let's see. You, 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 you. Okay, get him on in there. Oh, right. Good, jeez. It needs scythe. Well, the problem is the every, uh, the middle and dark side. Uh, is it the middle dark side? Yeah, middle and dark side require scythe. So I think it's 12 scythes, something like that. So it's going to be, not everyone's going to have a scythe fleet to, to work with here. All right, this feels semi-manageable. There's the scythe right there. You know what? I'm just going to knock him dead. Let's go do that. Give it the falcon. There we go. Not a great opening play. Not amazing. Uh, anything I need to take note here? Is this the... U oh, okay, or we probably should read this. Orbital scrap here. The first time a ship is reduced to 1% health. Oh, this is like the... Um, I think we've seen this in Galactic Challenges at one point. It recovers 100% health and protection. Gains decommission until the end of the encounter, which can't be dispelled to prevent it. If a ship is inflicted decommission at the start of its turn, it's destroyed. Okay. And all their allies gain 20% max health protection offense. Okay. Decommission minus 50% speed. Can't assist. Can't counterattack. Ooh, that's going to be a little rough on the rebels, potentially. Let's go drop that here. There we go. Getting some debuffs locked in here. I'm just going to do basic for right now. There we go. Nice assist from the Outrider. Always appreciate that. Keep making some work here. Didn't get the disruption on, unfortunately. Okay. All right, so there we go. So it's like a fracture. We got decommissioned, which is fine. I don't mind Rebel Y-Wing being... Ooh, that's going to be painful. Let me see if we can... Ooh. Uh, we got to get this force hit off. I'm not screwed with that. Get this force hit off. All right, there we go. Let's get you for the assist. There we go. All right, back over here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. To that, you know, yeah, because they're just kind of sitting there taunting, so they're kind of doing their job. Boy, Scythe is mega thick. Holy cow. All right, there goes our Y-Wing. Okay. All right, let's do that. Hmm. This is a tough call. I think I'm going to do that now. I think the goal is just to survive until you hit the ultimate here. Almost through the scythe, but man, I, I feel like I maybe should have picked someone else because it's taking a minute to get through them. All right, they got the formation up and running. 87% of the ultimate. Let's bring out Phantom, reduce our cooldowns. Hopefully, we're making progress here, though. Okay. Uh, basic. There we go. Got some formation off. This is the this debuffs. Oh, hmm. Forgot about Vader. You got the target lock back on. Okay, interesting. Ooh, ninety four percent. Can we hang on? Yeah, the ship battles are dialed up today. Hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's just see if we can try to survive to our altar. I think it's coming up next turn here.
Oh no, only 94%. That sucks. Yeah, so all need to say all my effort on the scythe was completely wasted. So that's never a good sign. Yikes. Ships is a no-go for us. Yeah, the scythe was the wrong target. Let's see. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Let's see. Where is that ship battle? Mm, well, there's nothing that overtly says. Like there's something special about that site. Like maybe a special modifier for them. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I think it's just hindsight 50 50, as I like to say. Uh, I, I, we don't know. Maybe if I went for Vader, we still would have had maybe a similar problem. Yeah. So, yeah, a ships is definitely rough this go around. The character stuff feels more or less the same. Um, the ships is rough. Okay, though, let's move on to some Jedi stuff here. Let's go maybe just throw Master Kenobi onto the middle here. Man, for fun and losing at phase two. Uh, maybe I picked the wrong target. I don't know. We'll have to redo it again, but yeah, definitely. Does it show you how many people beat it? Let's see. Sometimes they show. Uh, let's see. It shows usually a track record, doesn't it? Where doesn't it usually show? Uh, maybe not. 2 out of 10 doesn't. Sh there we go. Yeah, we got one out of one. Also, oh, the one waiver. Mm, so far. Looks like only one person managed to beat it. Yeah, it looks like only one person managed to beat it so far. Okay, well. Mm, maybe a different, maybe, who knows? Maybe Radis isn't going to be good there. Maybe you need a negotiator. Hard to say. Maybe it's just, but yeah, you would think Radis would be kind of like easy win. Guess not. Guess not. Let's move on over to the, here. We got the Jedi mission. We'll, I'll just use Master Kenobi. And we have no Tano. We already used Tano with Dash Rendar earlier on. And let's throw in Kiati Mundi. Get you in there, you in there. And then what do I want for, you know, I'm going to maybe just throw in gas. Yeah, let's do it. Throwing gas. Send in the full team. Let's see how this goes. Full big team. TB's a waste of time. Well, it's really just chasing after the characters. Cool. We got some of uh, the Inquisitor Marquis stuff recycled here. This, I thought this was always a cool background from Fallen Order. What do we got? Strafing run. Uh, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put damage on Kenobi because I don't know. Oh, that was a nice play. I should have went for the taunt. Weird that Stormtrooper Commander is taunting. All right. What do we have? Imperial Supremacy. If there's an Empire, I like the leader slot. They gain 30% max health protection. The strongest ally taunts. It's kind of like a Maul DeLorean thing. Whenever an Empire ally excluding someone uses a special ability during their turn. All allies. Oh, hold on. Use a special ability during their turn. All Empire allies increase the damage they deal by 10% until the end of the encounter. And then all their Empire allies are called to assist. If there's an active Empire ally at the end of each ally's turn, summon an Imperial Probe Droid. Ooh, with a taunt. Okay. And that's the Endless Ranks, which we're familiar with. Okay, well, let's just smash him, I guess. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got, oh, first look at the Purge Trooper. Man, I completely drew a blank there. That's the Purge Trooper, y'all. Right there. Cool. I think we're going to be seeing that in our roster probably sometime next year, if I had to guess. Yeah, check it out. Purging Fire. Deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict a stack of Purge. If they have three more, they get burning on them. Mm, built the kill. I love it. I love it. Deal physical damage to target enemy and consume all stacks of purge. For each stack of purge consumed, deal an additional 20% damage. If six stacks of purge are consumed, instantly defeat them. That's nuts. That's rough. And we're covering 30 percent health protection. They gain, then gain critical immunity, protection up, all that fun stuff. Uh, expendable death squad. When purge trooper is defeated, inflict three stacks of purge on a character defeated. Oh, ooh, that could be rough. Because I gotta kill him like. All right, so I think what I'm learning here is I probably don't want to kill the purge trooper until the very last kill. Because if I keep killing them, we're just going to keep getting purged. And they're going to revive through endless ranks. Which we've seen in uh, Conquest and all the other stuff. Yeah, they get the revive again. Yeah, so probably don't want to go there. Looking forward to seeing it uh, in my roster, though. In the meantime, oh, two purge troopers. Ooh. Well, let's work on someone else, then. I say we go for... I'm guessing they might be the weakest. Get Caddy Moody in there. Good thing we got the damage Moody on Kenobi right away. All right, over here. All right. Uh, just do basic for right now. Let's just send it all in. There we go. A couple more. Oh, 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 give me one more. Oh, reset. There we go. Nicely done. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, I want to hear their sound effects. Hold on. Turn this off for a second. 
Here, I want to I want to hear the purge trooper sound effects. It sounds satisfying. They probably borrowed some assets from uh, respawn. Not respawn. Is it respawn that makes it? No. Da -da -da -da. That sounds like they took it from. Hold on. It's is it res it's respawn that makes it, right? Respawn made fallen order. That's a uh, hold on. I want to hear it again. Hold on. Come on, just hit me with the sounds. Hit me with the sounds. Yeah, it's respawn. Yeah, I, I drew a blank for whatever reason. Uh, do it again. Come on, just do it again. Put it down. Put it down. Cool. I bet they maybe tapped on the shoulder of respawn and be like, hey, can we have like some of the assets? Cool stuff. I, I think that's the most exciting thing about this phase, just seeing the purge for the first time in action. Really, really cool. It does sound, yeah, it sounds like they took sound effects from whether it's Battlefront or whether it's uh, Fallen Order. Cool stuff though. All right, so now we could probably, we could probably start working on these purge now. There's no more endless ranks. Okay. I, I'm actually glad we brought Kenobi. I wonder if Master Luke would have had a hard time. Let's just keep that damage ability on Kenobi. He's doing a great job. Okay. That sounds. That's a good sound effect. One of the better blaster sounds. All right. Oh, did the purge not apply? Did it get? May have gotten resist or Ahsoka Tano cleansed it off. One to two. Let's see here. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, it didn't apply. I'm guessing it got resisted. Uh, was there a, was there a resistible clause? I didn't check. Maybe there was a resistible clause, unresistible clause. Maybe it wasn't there. You can resist the purge, it seems. Yeah, unless it says it can't be resisted. All right, well, cool. It's cool seeing it for the few seconds there. I was a bit more concerned about it than I probably needed to be. All right, let's go basic here. Yeah, just hit him with that. And wrap it up. All right. Yeah, Kenobi, I think, was a great call. I think Mashlik would have had a rough time on this phase. Uh, constant buff the spells. Purge probably would have been a bit more difficult because of the fact we don't have such high tenacity on Mashlik like we do in this team. I just want to get this guy. I want to see if we need to still deal with the probe droid. Yep, cool. Don't have to deal with it. it takes care of itself. Is it bugged? It can't be resisted? Let's see. Oh, I can't click on him right now. All right, let's do a... Uh... Oh, that's great. Oh, well, I guess it is bugged then. Here we go. It says, which can't be evaded or resisted, so... It's bugged, but in our favor. Okay, well... That's just the way it is. Let's go ahead and throw down some protection or uh, damage immunity over there. All right, seems like, uh, how do we want to do this? So now you're ki you kind of, well, we know it's, you know, I, want, I just, I'm, I'm going to see if it's still bugged, we'll take advantage of it. But it seems like if this is supposed to work properly, the purge should be a menace to deal with. There we go. Get some hits in there. It's going to take a minute to get through all this endless rank stuff here. Okay. All right, let's see if it's going to work out. Yeah, it's not applying. Well, it's working in our favor, so I won't complain. But yeah, seems like they didn't test at all of their modifier stuff. All right. Boom, 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 boom. I can. I, I just want to turn up the music for this one. Want to just give me the, just, I want purge troopers only. Over here. Over here. There we go. That should be another one down. Yeah, definitely bug. It sounds like it's got two different sound effects. Ooh. She, what happened there? What I, I don't what happened? That's a DC 15, says Adam. Adam is always on top of their knowledge there. I don't know what happened. I, I but did they completely bypass my I didn't even get a savior yet. Hold on, that something looked weird there. Like, did they, did they get through? My, maybe they just did like a certain amount of damage. Let's see. Let's see this real quick. Let's see. 
Let's see this real quick. See. Okay. Back up. What happened? There? All right. Get him on over here. All right. Should be coming here shortly. Okay. Hey, I guess there's just a lot of damage. This may be on like a slower playback here. Incoming donation. All right, I think they, this is where they're coming right here. So taunt. Boom, boom. Another assist. Y yeah, I guess they just, uh, yeah, they just burnt. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely got their savior. It just was so fast that I didn't even notice it. Yikes, that, that assist is a little deadly. All right, well, we need to get the work done. We need to get work done. And then that's the... There we go, another assist. And that was it. Okay, well, that makes sense then. It was a lot of damage coming our way. JKL with JML and Hoda was an easy win. Stunlock for the win. Good to hear that Master Luke, Knight Luke worked out well. Because I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm a bit worried, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. Let's get these purge troopers out of here. Uh, let's go over here next. Yeah, stun would be nice right about now. Now that we have like... Oh, jeez. These assists are just brutal all of a sudden. Come on. You yeah, know, I feel like we're in a... It was going well there for a moment. Then, yeah, all of a sudden there's like heavy fire. It'd be nice if I can get... There we go. Give me those. There we go. Do it again. There we go. Whoa, ninth sister. Where are you getting that damage, girl? She, she's hitting. Boy, I wish she could hit like this normally. Man. Yeah, they just kept their, their, their damage just ramping up. So I guess that's really what it is. It just ramped up over the course of the battle. Yikes. Okay, well, maybe Master Luke is the one for this. With Jedi Knight Luke getting those stuns. Locked in because yeah, now I think we're too far gone into the battle. They've ramped up their damage a lot. And if we can get stuns at them, it'd be a lot easier. Uh, let's see. We're going to try to do a final stand here. So again, it comes down to just bringing in the right team. Okay. Do that AUE. Okay. All right. Well, you know, let's keep pushing. Whoa. All right. I'm trying to get these ability blocks. Oh, crap, man. Wow. Yeah. Shoo. Look at nine says I did for 200,000 damage on her basic. She brought the heat. That's for sure. Man, did they even like list those before you go into that one? Which battle? That was this battle here, right? I think it was listed. No, not that. Endless ranks. Yeah, man. Jeez. That was, uh, that was rough. Yeah, it's all. Uh, Maybe no Kenobi on that wave. Mass look would, it looked like first wave was all right, we're fine. The second wave, yeah, that's when we got hit with this crazy amount of damage. Do you think there's invisible purge? I only saw like one purge that whole time. Did you miss Hondo? Yeah, that was the very first battle. Okay, well, that was a little rough. So what do we want to use for these other battles here? Hmm. You know, I kind of want to throw Master Luke now. Let's do, let's, let's do this. Definitely Luke, Master Luke. Bring out you and what other characters we want to bring in Yoda give me Hermit Yoda. Oh, shoot. Hermit Yoda is not Relic 6. Well, I'm not going to Relic 6 in today. I got to save Relics for Afra. So we'll bring in Shakti. Let's do it. You said Perturber gives offense. But it's no, 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 no. It's the it's the, the, the modifier. Every time they're using special, they're slowly ramping up their special damage right here. Whenever an Empire ally uses special during the turn, all Empires Allies are increasing our damage by 10%. So that, that's what happened. It's just their damage just was slowly ramping up uh, throughout the course of the battle. All right, let's go land this stun on these fools. So let's see. This is, uh, I don't want to say it's one to one to the last battle, but probably going to be an interesting. Oh, I probably should put Yoda over here. Okay, let's go ahead and mark down. I wonder, are these guys still bugged? I don't know. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this right now. Let's just keep making sure we can reduce Luke's cooldowns give him as many turns as possible there we go 
Red's gonna love around. Let's go mark down. I don't know. Mark down this dude. Let's see. Let's see if the purge will apply it on, on this team. And I might regret if it does. Okay. There we go. Send it. Yeah, it's still simply unless it's invisible. It could be invisible. We're just not seeing it. But I'm gonna keep rolling. Let's get that offense up off. Basic. Okay, drop that over there. Probably should have done it over there, but it doesn't matter. It seems like they didn't even apply. Basic, come on, let's get through this purge trooper. Let's go, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Give it over to you. All right, basic. Probably should have done it over there. Oh, damn, he's gone. And we didn't bring Jolie, so. Eesh. I don't know, man. That was, um, maybe Master Luke lead would have been better. I think Mass Luke Lee may be better because at least they can taunt. <laughs> Probably better to do Master Luke lead. So I'm glad Jedi Knight Luke lead. Who was that uh, for RJJ? Uh, Jedi Knight Luke lead worked for you in the other one. I don't know. I think Mass Luke may have been better because Luke's not going to taunt unless he's he's leading here. Wow. Okay. Well. Yikes. Even we did a pretty good job controlling them too. It's just getting absolutely destroyed here. Unless there's secret purge, we're just not seeing. Let's keep moving. Let's try at least get one wave under the belt. There we go. All right. There we go. Give us some nice counters. Watch out for that. There we go. At least here, make him talk. There we go. Make him talk. There we go. All right. Let's go. Let's see who needs cooldown. Let's increase cooldowns here. Get that taunt off. Nicely done. All right. He's gone. All right. Give me stuns. All right. Okay, give it on. Probably should have given it to Luke, but whatever. The other Luke. Boy, resist everywhere. Send it. All right, that's another one down over here. Buff the spell that. Okay. All right. Do that. Yeah, you sure give me more turn meter. Let's see if we can try to get our stun ready for the next wave here. That's coming. Drop that there. Just do basics. We can try to get a buff meter. That'd be great. Let's do that. We're, oh, you know what we should do? Hmm. I think we should try to time out this lead. All right, so I'm going to stall this out a bit. Will I regret it? Potentially. Potentially. Trying to get this. Yeah, seven more turns. You know, keep him taunting for right now, just in case things go a little bit off the rails. Five more turns. And just do this for now. Three more turns. Oh, two more turns. Just do that for right now. All right. It should be ready here in a moment. So let's do that. That shouldn't kill him off. It should be fine. All right. Finish him. There it is. All right. So that way we can start at the next wave, get the speed down on right away. And we could also drop a stun right now. Hey, it's Crosshair. Cool. Hey, let's see if we can get this taunt up so we can check him out a little bit closer. All right, Crosshair. First time seeing Crosshair. And the strength, same thing. Uh, so they obviously have an Imperial Trooper tag. Imper huh, light side Imperial Trooper. Isn't that funny? Hmm, that's a first. That's a first. Obviously an Imperial Trooper because they have endless ranks. I can't. Is that intended? I don't know. Is Crosshair really light side? It's a little sus, huh? A little sus. Yeah, no spoilers, right? <laughs> All right. 773 Fire Punch Rifle. Deal physical damage to target enemy, which can't be evaded. The stack will critically hit if able to. Imperial Supremacy. We know that. Know that. Good soldiers follow orders. Whenever another ally uses the special ability, Crosshair will assist. Whenever another ally in the leader slot uses the special ability, um, Crosshair gains 100% turn meter. Well, the crosshair is the leader, I'm assuming. Okay, pretty simple kit, but I'm guessing a lot of damage here. Interesting. With this line of logic, why is it Anakin's bad? Why why isn't Anakin a light side? Okay. Well, let's see what we can do with three folks here. I don't know what I want to do first, honestly. I really don't. I'm gonna go for crosshair. Oh boy, that's not a lot of damage. Not a very inspiring initial play there 
Boy, how did this go up? It's taking a while to get that moving here. I'm gonna taunt here. Mm, I'm gonna put a buff unit over there. And eh, never mind. Is this like okay, still not working. There it is. Alright, let's go back over here. I thought maybe crosshair be a yeah, I'm gonna say that they're done. They're done. What is crosshair doing here? Well, again, there's some weird. So crosshair was at Baraka with Bad Batch. But I don't think they were with Purge Troopers, so... Just remember uh, when the Bad Bats got their inhibitor chips removed. Crosshair somehow got tipped. And there we go, he put the final nail into us. So that's where he burnt his face and all that. But he wasn't there. This is a Fallen Order. Okay. <laughs> remember, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Don't think don't don't think too much about the lore else your, your brain's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, John Eden's 22 months. I use JML lead of JKL, Gas Herbiota, and JCare. And I lost JCare. Yeah, I think um Master Luke League probably would have been better. So that way we had a more consistent taunt. Anyway, I, I feel like so far this planet, it's me going in at the wrong teams. I I, I feel like that's probably the case. Maybe. Seems like Master Luke Lead was the better way of going about it. But we tried Jedi Knight Luke Lead. Wasn't crazy about it. Uh, what else do we have here? I like to tell it's a cool interesting to see GLs and other teams against these unique missions from other TVs from a certain point of view. Big Yay! Yeet! Yeah, like if you're like a sandbox, but not when they're trying to sell this as like their next big game mode. <laughs> like I would, I think it'd be fun if you, like, you just had like a sandbox and like, hey, you could set up the act. Like, all right, cool. But this is supposed to be more of a serious, well-defined, well-made game mode. And... I think it gives off different vibes, but it, it was funny to see Lord Vader take on uh, the cab mission. Um, I honestly don't know what I want to do for this last wave. I, I wish I had my Sana Cara Dune combo. I think that would have been another great opportunity here. Yeah, Sana Cara Dune, man. Uh, you know what? I want to. I, I want to try. Oh, Sana's Relic Five. All right, I don't want a Relic Five or, or Six right now. Maybe next TB. We'll get, or at least after this Dr. Afri event that's coming tomorrow. So we have, what do you guys do? We could do CLS, Padme, Rays are three options. Or we could do Bad Batch too, I suppose. CLS, we got it right here. Well, for the final battle, let's do um, here, a quick pull. Oh, we got Ray, Bad Batch. Um, Padme was good last time. Padme was really good last week, her face. Had me seal us. There you go. All right, final team. We'll leave that poll open for a moment here. Uh, Jack Black, 49, telling CG to operate based on, on lore. CG, we are the lore. We determine the meta and the Omega. Oh, God, the Empire. Thanks, Jack Black. Uh, Blaze Walker, five dollars. The Emperor did wipe out the Genosis. Oh, yeah, so we talked about that, Blaze. Yeah, the Genosis, whatever it is, the theming's out of whack for uh, this particular phase. And then we got RGJ, we got John Edens as well. Oh, thank you guys so, 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 so much. Let's take a look at the vote. We're at 40% Bad Batch. Yeah, Bad Batch is leading by a large margin. I'll leave it sitting here for a few more seconds here. Mm, 38%, 27%, 19%, 16%. Yeah, let's see. Once it says one minute, I'll close it. But it's looking like Bad Batch is leading the charge here. We don't have the Omega, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Omicron. On Omega, so probably you're not gonna see their full potential. Had me with Bad Batch. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, but I'm gonna close it. It says Bad Batch. I'm gonna do full Bad Batch. Although I kind of think ba Padme. I think Padme with her courage would be helpful. Hmm. Alright, well, again, we'll see how it goes. But I have a feeling Padme is gonna be good here too. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Let's see how it goes. All right. Let's go drop some daisies on. Okay. All right. Let's go drop some of these. There we go. Nice, sons. Always good when you see that. 
Okay. Nicely done. Um, I wonder. I wonder if this will do like some crazy damage. Nah, it just, it just did one instance. I was hoping it was going to do a little bit more. All right, let's pass that on over to you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to spread the damage out a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, basic should probably finish that guy off. Let's go ahead. Edge. Doesn't really matter. Just do this right now. There we go. All right. Okay. Do that. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is working very well. So far, best best team so far this phase. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. All right. Nicely done. Almost down for the count for these guys. All right. That was the last endless range, but we got to hurry up. Finish the rest of them. Get this guy. He's got the offense up. Boom! High single fire damage coming in. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy. All right, who's got a lot? Let's go. We have the defense up. Let's do this. There we go. All right. Okay. Huh. We probe droid got resisted. That's odd. Uh, let's save this for next wave. Too basic. There we go. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. I wish I could see their abilities. It's a bit odd that they... Because normally it's unresistible to buff the spell. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Second sister. You know, I kind of regret using that... Hmm, that was probably a bad call using that daze. Oh, well. We'll have to go with it. Let's go under stealth first. All right. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Defense up is ready. Yeah, I'm a bit worried not having enough stuns. Let's pop it. All right, let's give it on over to you. Almost there. We'll get it. We'll get it in a moment. You know, let him get buffs. Yeah, let him get all those buffs. I'm guessing he's supposed to be dead. I can't. <laughs> Definitely a couple of bugs to iron out here. He's too furious to die. Oh boy. Some, uh, I, I definitely should have saved the days, by the way. That definitely probably didn't set me up well. Wrecker, I'm sorry. Dismember, don't tell him anything. You don't know anything. You don't know nothing. All right. Somehow Wrecker has returned. <laughs> all right. Don't tell my guild I didn't use all my light side galactic legends on, on this wave. I, I just want to try it out. Um, and we got another fleet battle knocked out. I wonder what they use. Did I just have like a, just a cruddy run with my Radis? Did they maybe do something else? Wow. All right. Well, hmm. middle is okay. Nothing. Middle is fine. Left weird theming stuff going on. Not a fan of this Genosian mission. Uh, this felt a little too copy paste. This felt this felt lazy. Whatever the case is, that felt a little lazy. This, I definitely felt like I did not do well here. Whether it's because of poor lineup, poor strategy going into these. This was a little surprising. Um, cool to see Crosshair and the Purge Troopers. But I don't, it just felt like a lot of stuff wasn't working. The Purge Trooper unique ability wasn't working, which is fine. It worked in my favor. Um, Probe Droid's ability seemed a little off. Wrecker being alive, even, I don't know. It's, again, it's what I expected, so. You're not going to get a rageful rant out of me. It's what I expected when I heard there was a new TV, but this, this one surprised you the most. This whole planet thing. It was, uh, you know, it felt like, this felt like, I, okay, I'm, I'm going to be as nice as I can about this. This felt like my, it feels like my, oh, he's now 10 or something like that. It felt like my then seven or eight year old brother put this together. Just like, uh... And it was cute, you know, it's like, you know, it's like a kid in the sandbox. Oh, what if I brought Lord Vader to take out the, uh, the, uh, the, whatever, the reek? You know, but, uh, it's for months of them giving us the heads up, but this doesn't really feel finely tuned. Put all the, yeah, put all the cool monsters in, right? That's what it kind of feels like. 
<laughs> well, that's gonna wrap it up for phase two. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna have that Reva battle. I, I might be the dummy to go in there blind and figure out how it goes. Uh, this is, hmm, this could be a little. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder how difficult that's gonna be. Middle again, it didn't really feel difficult. It just felt more bringing in the right stuff. Although the Geno's battle felt a little difficult. Aiden was a bit weird, but I think we could have maybe had a better team. I think Sana, Sana is gonna be a great team for this wave. There's no dazes to hinder her, so I'm hoping maybe next go around we'll have Sana. Uh, this I definitely gotta well, figure some stuff out. I think definitely gotta figure some more stuff out. Let me see really quick if there's any deploy orders and then I'll deploy and then we'll probably meet up again later today for a Dr. Afro kit reveal. Uh, let me see Carl. Let me see. Where is all right? Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Uh, they already made graphics on what teams to use here. Look at that. That's great. I don't know. Let me let me see if they're cool with me sharing it real quick. I, I would hate to show it. Uh, let me see, ask him. Real quick. All right, let me just ask, you know, some, you know, guilds, you know, they sometimes they get a little, you know, don't show our stuff type of thing with like territory wars. All right. So split deployments between light side and dark side. Okay. So we're not deploying here. If dark side, 50% remaining GP after all CMs mix, no deployments. Okay. So we're going to deploy. How much GP do we have left over? 7.3 so let's just say three point what is that like yeah, let's say 3.7 or whatever so let's clear let's uh how much do we need here dark side 3.1 okay we'll add like maybe another 200k here and then we'll put the rest on the other side all right deploy and let's see yeah like sure okay and then we'll put everything on the other side so no middle deployments Maybe they're hoping that the... Maybe we're just getting one star. I'm not sure what the game plan is. I don't do anything in regards to territory battle planning. And... Uh, I'll give them like a second here. I don't want to show their stuff if they don't want me to. But I think that's going to wrap it up there. Uh, we have Mark Mate, five, uh, five uh, p -p 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 pounds. Thank you so much. For your free to play, take Mothma, Pow, Scout, the gear 8-9 with Zetas. Uh, I can't afford it right now. Uh, Zetas are a little scarce. I got to save it for my other stuff. You'll have Kieran Relic Kylo soon. I, I'm, I'll probably do something with it, but for the for the immediate future on the free to play, I don't want to get too carried away. This is I'm trying to keep this on territory battle topics here. Um, maybe what the hell is this on, bro? There we go. Um, yeah, probably down the road I'll I'll look into it. Right now I only have enough Zetas for kind of like my next project or two, so I don't want to start dumping it into Mon Mothwin at least yet. Maybe once we get the Caradun, we have the Kyle Katara, maybe at Relics or whatever. We'll start taking advantage of it right at this very moment. I'm not going to get into it, but I do agree. If you can get it to low gear and you can get the whole how Hoth Rebel Scout train going, it's going to it's gonna beat some teams that it probably has no no right beating. So let's see. Do I even have Mon Mothma? Let's see if we even have Mon Mothma. Um, yeah, we cool. Yeah, we got her. So yeah, probably not immediately. But maybe like three, four or some projects in. I already started getting my trade to gear 12, though. Looking forward to putting maybe an Omicron in her. Yeah, but right now, uh, because of my side projects, I don't have like a ton of Zetas to splurge at the very moment. All right, let's see. Did they respond? All right, they might be busy. All right, so what I'll do, if anything, next territory battle, if they give me the go ahead, I'll show you guys the graphics that they made. I mean, it's nothing like mind blowing. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show one graphic. Here, just one graphic. If they hate me, I'll take I'll take the I'll take the heat. I'll take the heat. And maybe they'll say yes before <laughs> or afterward. So like here's what they came up with for phase two. Um Sith Eternal Darth Vader. Link the Never thought what I ever hear. Link the Reek and Taunt. That's uh you linking the Reek. Never would have thought about that, right? Well, that makes sense. Accolade, use the Grand Inquisitor, it makes sense. Yeah, Grand Inquisitor probably does well. Sith Empire is suck this phase. I, boy, I don't know if I want to use them again anytime soon. Ah, ship combat mission. All right, so I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Ship combat mission, good luck, have fun, try to get a kill. Location bonuses, 
Stack health, offense pot pot potency from specials, event ability is AoE ability block. Geos combat mission, kill partisan fighters first. Save revive for wave two, kill Rex. So it looks like Rex and Ezra show up in the later part of it. Next suit, Lord Vader, Maul, Royal Guard. No Darth Vader, save five stacks of hatred for second wave. Okay. I, I don't think this is like crazy, like confidential. Felucia. Ah, uh, yeah, so for, we, we use Executor. It didn't feel good. They use Negotiator. Chimera seemed to work well. So again, it's, it's about bringing in the right stuff. And I feel like for a lot of the stuff, we didn't bring in the right stuff. Probably should have looked at this before. But I'm kind of going at it at my own pace, just kind of discovering as I go along. Java, really easy. Just Java laugh sounds. Location is fine. Uh, they used Ray. I think Bounty Hunters was a good was a good Hondo thing. Save Ray for something else. Uh, so but they used Ray. Uh, I, I'm going to say Bounty Hunters were better. It was a better budget battle. Young Lando. They used Lord Vader. Hmm. All right. Just so throwing in Lord Vader, Maul, Royal Guard, Shore Lando. Okay. So we use Dash. I, you know, I guess, yeah. If you could throw a Galactic Legend, probably, because that Iden was a bit rough. And then we have one more. Here's Braca. Easy dunk. I got, I don't know, man. I got smashed. I probably should let him know that something went wrong. Maybe going for Scythe was the wrong play. Maybe I should have went for Darth Vader. I had a rough time. That I'll say maybe I screwed that up, but I wasn't an easy dunk. I had to, I was paying attention. I sucked. That's more of my life, right? Combat mission, JML, JKL. Yeah, didn't use that. Um, yeah, Mon Mothma. Yeah, I, I, I think we need to save Kara. Kara's, Kara's a definitely a solid choice for this phase of stuff. Location bonuses, AOE, Dispel, Remote 30% Terminator. Just strafe, baby. So there you go. So if it helps you guys, awesome. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it, I, I'd say most of my loss just came up to just kind of walking in blind, not knowing what was going on. But this should probably, probably enlighten more that are going to have it knocked out. So we'll see how it goes. I don't... Mm, Will we get max stars here? We got max stars in phase one. I'm not sure we're going to get max stars phase two. Uh, the adventure is going to come a point where the, the stars are going to start tapering off at some point. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Pelusha, I brought malevolence. Yeah, whatever the case is, I definitely do not think. Oh, and that was made by Jessica, by the way. Big, big special thanks to Jessica for putting those graphics together. I think it's gonna be helpful. I think they could definitely they could be fleshed out more for some other opportunities, but uh, that's what they found success with their first few first few battles right there. Seems like you're not even getting one star mid. Well, yeah, the problem is the main issue that we are having is there's so many sites we can't we can't and that's I think that's that's actually another thing to keep in mind. We don't have this operation maxed out because we don't have sites at this point. So definitely it's it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because of these operations not being maxed out. So we'll see. We'll do phase three tomorrow, either before or after Dr. Afra. Uh, maybe I might do the special mission by myself just so I can maybe make a condensed video for people that wanna see it and not have to sit through three hours to find it. So we'll have to wait and see. We gotta wait and see. Mid is tomorrow, yeah. So I think we're not gonna see max stars coming out this way. Let me make sure I didn't miss anyone else. Someone eh. What is this? I guess it's not quite a video. It's still kind of a stream. It was a, <laughs> almost a two hour stream. <laughs> almost a two hour stream, but still we'll leave timestamps for people to jump around. Phase two, yeah, wasn't too crazy about it, but you guys let me know what you're feeling. Crusher, no, so this, we're not gonna do, this isn't a full blown stream. Get that, get that flag out of here. Get, no, get it out. Thank you. Today's not a full blown stream. I have preparation to do for tomorrow's party. Today, I don't normally stream every single day. So this was kind of just like a, a mini stream, a short stream, two hours. That's short in Kyber Club terms, <laughs> right there. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by. We need to get a little outro song going. Stay tuned for the kit reveal tomorrow. We have stream again. It's gonna be a longer stream. That's the party stream. It's tomorrow's party day for Dr. Afra, assuming things don't get delayed, but yeah, yeah. You know how things go around these parts. We get a, you know what? You know what? We got to play Hondo on the way out. Give me Hondo one more time. Today's Hondo day. Let's go for it. There we go. All right, baby. Thank you for coming out. Had a good time. Had a good laugh. No one's right about Geonosis today. Neither you or me about the theming of it all. But that's just Galaxy of Heroes. So sit back, relax. I'll catch you guys later. And most importantly, always freaking remember that it's great to be a 
from the Empire today. Pick it up, Hondo! Nice! You, you got it! Nice, man! Profit! See ya! Chillax, we'll meet again.